Oh, come on up, cat. You're just gonna you're just gonna come here anyway, aren't you? Just come on the table. I don't give a crap anymore. Hi, I'm Nancy Plants. Welcome to another video. Uh, this is actually kind of almost a part two. I'm um, wearing the same shirt, same hairdo. I'm not changing what I look like, but I am doing a different thing. I'm repotting this ficus. So this is a variegated ficus. Beautiful, beautiful. I love these, and um, for some reason, I find them hard to find. Uh, this one is planted like in a clump. There's several little trees in here, and what I want is to separate this out and have them grow, not like a bush, but like as a bunch of trees. So I'm gonna end up with four or five smaller trees, and I got a few pots here, so I'm gonna see what I can get done. Also, I ended up repotting that thing from the other video that was growing here. So, all right, first one. Let's, let's, before we start putting things in pots, let's just take this thing apart. So when you're dividing up of any kind of plant, you just want to kind of pull it out of the pot and just be real gentle and see how you can pry the roots apart without tearing them too much. Sometimes they're really intertwined and you're gonna to have to tear them a little bit, but just be gentle. See, that one came apart really nice. And this is, this is one plant. All right, and then I got, let's see. This has also just been watered, so it'll go through, <gasps> kitty stop, a little less shock from the transplant. Okay. I'm gonna see how many plants I got. Kitty, you need to stop. And I may paint, plot, uh, I may pot some of these together to like make another bushy one, but I, what I really, really want is like trees, little trees. So let me find, I have one, two, three, four, five little guys here. So I'm gonna find my smallest one with the smallest root system to go into this little pot. I think this one's it. It's gonna be so cute. So what I'm gonna do with these is put them in different parts of my house. Hopefully I'll have like several big variegated ficuses and if they get too big, I'll give them away as a present. I mean, who doesn't want like a beautiful house plant? And, um, you know, but I just want like my apartment to just be like loaded with these big beautiful plants and I know it's gonna take time unless I wanna spend a lot of money and I don't. So I am getting some something that's a little less expensive and stretching it. So here we go. And I don't know if all of these will survive. I'm gonna do my best. All right, I got this pot here. It's not a very pretty one. It's just like a nursery pot, but it'll do. I think we're just gonna put one in the middle. This one's got like a deep, this one's got like a deep root system. So it'll probably be happy in here. I might even give one or two of these away because um, I like them. I want someone else to enjoy them too. Okay. Another one. Okay, so I have this pot here. Look at this. Um, this is the top to one of those like fast food drink cups. Cause I don't think you can recycle these, but it like looks like a little like, I don't wanna be too graphic, but it looks like a little butthole and it won't let the dirt out. But it'll let water out. So it's kind of a neat way to reuse something that probably wouldn't get recycled. All right, so I think I think these last three are going to have to all go together. That's what I'm thinking would be the best move because I don't want to put one of these in a pot that's too big. Although I don't know, I just feel like they I feel like they won't thrive. It's hard to say. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision here. So I'm thinking, get out of here, Kitty. I'm thinking we're going to do three. Yeah, I'm going to do one in each pot. I'm just going to do it. Take my chances. I'll have to be, just be really careful when I'm watering so that I don't, um, 
Oh, I'm gonna run out of soil. Oh, never mind. I'm trying to film this on one shot. I can't go outside and get more dirt, so we're gonna do this on one pot. That's all right. Maybe I can braid this one. You can propagate these from cuttings. I've done it once, like a long, long time ago when I was like 19. It is something that can be done though. So um, I'm gonna try it when this is bigger and it's making some new growth for me. I will try maybe propagating from some cuttings and see if that works. But another thing you can do if you wanna get a lot of plants out of one plant is buy a plant that has several uh, plants inside of it. And preferably something that's gonna grow into something big like a ficus. These will grow into trees. I think the variegated ones don't get as tall as the regular green ones, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I just don't see these out and about all that often. So I was lucky enough to just see one that looked really healthy and I snatched it up. And now I have three. So that's really exciting. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see what happens with these ficuses and with all my other plants, you should subscribe and uh, like and comment and all those, all those things that help me show up on the algorithm. Yeah. All right. I gotta go shut off the camera. Look at my cat. She's so cute. Look at this kitty. Oh yeah.